At the wheel of this car, the man torn between two worlds. He's an Arab sheikh who was born in an old Arabia and will die in a new one. He worships Allah, loves the desert, and is one of the richest men in the world. His name is Zayd. Zayd rules a little kingdom in Arabia called Abu Dhabi. 20,000 people in a stretch of sand and salt flats about half the size of Denmark. To the tribesmen who follow him everywhere, he's the undisputed boss. His forefathers ruled the desert from the back of a camel. He rides it in a limousine. But he remains, as they were, the center of tribal life. He's the man you serve, the man you hunt with, and the man you fight for. Above all, he's the man who leads. Wherever Zaid goes, his men go too. Those who don't travel with Zaid come out of the desert to greet him. They all owe their loyalty to him, and they all expect rewards from him. Zaid's tastes have not been influenced much by his money. He likes the simple life, to drive himself, to go hunting and camping in the desert, to be with his people, as a sheikh should be, to follow the ways of the old Arabian. Five or six years ago, the people of Abu Dhabi were sunk in the poverty of a thousand years or more. The 20th century had passed them by. Today, their ruler, Zaid, is one of Arabia's nouveau riches, who's acquired overnight a fortune from oil. His income could give $5,000 a year to every man, woman, and child in the place, enough to make Zaid a multimillionaire. Superficially, the old customs are unchanged. The tent goes up as it always did. The food is prepared as simply as before. <laughs> Zaid's natural pace is leisurely, almost indolent. Time is about the only thing the desert's been rich in until now. Time for coffee. Time for talk. Time made into ritual from century to century, from morning till night. These girls will swing their hair, and these men will chant hour after hour. In the desert, there's no rush. At least, that's how it used to be. But Zaid, with his money, has begun to learn better. In this palace in Abu Dhabi, Zaid had a brother. His name was Shakput. And for more than 30 years, he ruled Abu Dhabi in poverty and comparative peace. Shakput's rule was traditional. His word was law, but he stayed close to his people. Anyone was free to talk to him any day in the Majlis, the tribal council. And as long as they had no money, they were all relatively contented. And then in the 1960s, Abu Dhabi struck it rich, and its trouble started. In a year or two, people were demonstrating about work and wages who'd never had either in their lives before. The grumbles grew as the money mounted, because Shackwood was a miser. All his life, he'd been a poor man. Now that he was rich, the skin print habits stuck. And like a man who's won first prize in a lottery, he found his money made few friends. People began to say his brother, Zaid, would be a better ruler. 
He had a mind more open to the world. He was generous. He was a man's man. But Zide had sworn to his mother years ago that he would never harm Shackwood. And for five more years, he stayed loyal. And the people waited. The oil flowed. The money poured in. 